So, Sean. Yes. I love Irvine. It is a great city. Uh, we don't live there anymore, but we used to live there, and I often have nostalgia for when we lived in Irvine. I just feel like it was such a simpler life. <laughs> <laughs> the land of 10,000 parks. Yes. But anyways, Irvine is a really big city, and there's lots of different neighborhoods, and if you've never been here, and maybe you're thinking about, you know, I want to move to Irvine, and you're wondering, what are all these different neighborhoods? No. So what we're going to do is we're going to go through, not every neighborhood. There's a lot of neighborhoods. There's a lot, but maybe like the bigger ones, the more famous ones, and just tell you... You know, how is this different than this? How, what are you going to get here versus here? So maybe, you know, you'll be able to eliminate one or maybe find one that you're like, yeah, I want to go there. Sure. Sounds good. So stay tuned. What's up, everybody? I'm Sean Dezod. And I'm Courtney Dezod, and we're with Keller Williams Realty right here in Orange County, California. And if you love everything about Orange County, don't forget to press on the subscribe button, and don't forget to press on the little bell so you're notified every time we upload a new video, because we upload new videos every week. And if you're watching this channel, you might be thinking, wow, I love Orange County. I love the glitz. I love the glamour. I love the weather. I want to move out there now. The problem is, is that I don't know anything about Orange County itself. And I'm not local. I'm not in the area. I might be out of state. I might be out of the country. And I don't want to take a bunch of trips. And I totally get that. So what you want to do is reach out to me and my team because we'll personally make sure that you're taken care of. We'll have that conversation whether you're looking for a house in Irvine, in Newport, or anywhere else in Orange County. So what you want to do is give us a call, shoot us a text, or send us an email. Or you can reach out to us via WhatsApp. However you want to get a hold of us, we've got your back. So let's start with Woodbridge, which is kind of like the, granddaddy. the OG of master. So Irvine in itself, it's, you know, it's famous for being a master plan community, right? Homeowners associations galore. Just, you know, that's kind of, you know, like lots of community, like amenities and stuff like that. Yeah, so like pools, yeah. lots of, so many parks. We call it the, the land tennis of... Tennis courts. Yeah, tennis courts. We call it the land of 10,000 parks. I mean, there, not only is it well planned in terms of like the homes, but also in terms of where all the shopping is. There's like strip mall. Everywhere you think that there should be a Target, there is a Target. It just <laughs> leads to this very, very convenient lifestyle. Yeah, it seems like, you know, and like Woodbridge seems like it was like what spawned it all, like, and then the rest of Irvine kind of followed suit, and then, therefore, the rest of or South Orange County kind of went from there, so it's, it, but yeah, Woodbridge is a, kind of like that OG place, and, again, I love Woodbridge, I mean, it is on the older side yeah. now, I mean, like, a lot of stuff was built in the 1970s, and yeah. up, but, like, you know, a lot of stuff was built in the 1970s, mm -hmm. but they have so many amenities there, I yeah. mean, they have, like, the lagoon, they have, you know, which is, like, this cool, just kind of, like, it's kind of like a beachy, uh, pool, pool basically. yeah, and so it's really cool. You have tennis courts, of course. Yeah, there's two, there's two man-made lakes. Yeah, two man-made lakes. You know, yeah, like like Lake Michigan, basically. <laughs> yeah. And so, um, but yeah, you, and also what's nice about Woodbridge though, it's a, it's pretty convenient. It's yeah. right out, it's right up right by the 405 freeway, so it's very convenient because a lot of Irvine these days has built out in East, mm -hmm. and so it's not as convenient to get to. But yeah. Woodbridge is actually pretty close. Yeah, so I would say. Probably the thing, the one mark against it is that it's older, right? I mean, yeah. it is older homes. It's not new construction. Um, but in my opinion, I actually think Woodbridge has a lot of value that because it's older, just like when you're thinking of the pure convenience of where it's located For and sure. all the amenities you get, I feel like it has a lot of value. I really like Woodbridge. Yeah, Woodbridge is great. So another big neighborhood is the Great Parks neighborhood. So explain, what is this? So out with the old in Woodbridge and in with the brand <laughs> new, and that's the Great Parks. And yeah. so, yeah, what's interesting, so this is an area that used to be the um, the El Toro oh, yeah. Marine, Bra Marine, Marine, Marine Base. And this was a huge, you know, air base, right? So like, uh, and so basically it got decommissioned in the 90s. And it, be you know, it's, it, again, I'm not going back to the story, history of it, but it ultimately became the tent, you know, where they were going to build this great park. It was going to be like kind of an idea of Central Park in, in New York City. Mm -hmm. Didn't really turn out to that. It does have a lot of park stuff. I mean, it has a lot of fields and everything like that. However, the, the construction around it is one of the newest neighborhoods in all of Orange County, really, yeah. especially in by size, because there's you know, a lot of construction going on here. And so what you have here is that you have, again, if you're looking for new construction, that's this is going to be the be most likely place to have it. And what's u unusual is that a lot of the new construction in Orange County is on the fringes. It's out, mm -hmm. you know, way out southeast or, you know, just kind of out east period. And whereas, you know, the Great Parks is kind of actually centrally located. It's right by the five, and, you know, it's right off the five and really close to the 405 freeway too. 
yeah, I, I really like the houses around the Great Parks. Um, one drawback is that because it is new construction, the lots tend to be a lot smaller, so yes. you don't really have like a backyard, and you're very, very like close to your neighbors. Yes, that happens mostly with new construction. Yeah, it's pretty vertical. So not to say every development is like like this. So that's why if it's important to you, reach out to us because we can obviously you know like direct you in the right place for that not your your traditional I guess if you want to say like two story home because a lot of the new construction now is you know okay you have your garage on the ground floor and you're going up two or three levels. So these houses are. are three or four stories tall and you know there's really no yard to speak of they have a balcony but like yeah. not really much of a yard they yeah. kind of more depend on it's more like a patio yeah and it's, it's more they, I think that they more depend on the actual amenities of the community to mm -hmm. make up for the lack of a yard yeah for sure now let's talk about Turtle Rock now Turtle Rock I love yes. Turtle Rock and actually Sean's uh, aunts and uncles all live in Turtle Rock so. <laughs> Turtle Rock is beautiful. Yeah, so explain, what is Turtle Rock? Turtle Rock is cool because a lot of Irvine kind of gets uh, like this reputation of being super flat. Well, it is. And it's right place. Reputation. So. Yeah. It is so, very flat. Especially, okay, if you go east of the 405 freeway, very, very yeah. flat. West of it, like, so the coastal side of it, it's actually, the topography is actually rather hilly. Mm -hmm. And, like, on that side, it's just, like, I just love Turtle Rock. It's just, it's saw shaded, you st and it's closer to the coast, so therefore you have more of that sea breeze going mm -hmm. through it. So, because some of the ur parts of Irvine, especially on the edges, uh, on the eastern edges, it gets kind of hot for Orange County standards. Yeah. So, um, so Turtle Rock, again, just really nice. And, the, and then as far as... Again, not according, you know, not according to me, but according to Niche.com, University High School is ranked, you know, is ranked neither one or two in the in the county, depending. So it's always perpetually right up there with Troy High School in Fullerton, and basically that is the the, the high school that services there, and that's famously because UC Irvine, which is a, one, a top tier ranked school, is right there too. Yeah, I love how in Turtle Rock you don't feel like you're stacked on top of each yeah. other. A lot of Irvine you do feel like you're stacked on top of each other because, you know, you have a house in front of you, behind you, to both sides. I mean, you're just surrounded by people. Whereas because of the topography in Turtle Rock, you can't really get that. And they have beautiful views, yes. lots of eucalyptus trees. It um, it feels like a different city in, in a lot of ways. It's totally different than some of the other, or, I mean, like right across the 405 freeway totally different feel to it. Mm -hmm. And since we are talking about Turtle Rock, which tends to be a little bit more on the pricier side, let's talk about some of the, we're going to lump them all in together, some of the pricier neighborhoods that are near Turtle Rock, you know, like Turtle Ridge, Quail Hill. Um, Shady Canyon. And Shady Canyon. I mean, Shady Canyon can get up to what? I think there's a problem. There's one that's listed for $50 million. Yeah. So, I mean, obviously these are huge estates. I mean, they actually have a good size, good size lots. And it's like a double gated community. I mean, it's not like you have to go through one gate, but then you have to go through a second gate. So that's it's pretty hardcore. But um, these areas, you know, again, these are your more ritzy parts of Orange uh, of of Orange County, but really for Irvine for sure. Yeah. So what you're getting here, because you're closer, you're almost, you know, you're bordering in a lot of these places Newport Coast, which is one of the most expensive areas in the, in entire, the world. In the entire world. Yeah. yeah. So you're getting, um, you know, better weather. You're getting. A lot of times the sea breeze. It is a lot hillier out there. So yes, you have views, and, mm -hmm. and again, you don't definitely don't have that stacked feeling for sure. You definitely have that where you have a little bit more. Not not to say that every house has a lot of land, but it just doesn't feel like as parts to, uh, opposed to other parts of, of of Irvine where these houses are so stacked on top of each other. You don't get that feel in these areas. Yeah, and you're quite close to the beach. I think Quail Hill um, is what ten minutes from Laguna Beach, so it's you know. It's just, I think because it's so close to the beach, you are sort of paying a little bit of the beach prices when you, you're over there. Yeah, and like, and like, you know, Turtle Ridge and stuff like that. You just take Newport Coast Drive and you're down in Newport Coast, like, in, you know, in the, in the, in Newport Coast itself. So it's pretty quick. So since we were talking about what is the most expensive part of Irvine, let's talk about the more reasonably priced part of Irvine. And that, I would say, is the neighborhood El Camino Real. And it happens to be where there are almost no HOAs, which is very rare for Irvine. So talk about El Camino Real. Yeah, it's funny. Like, so, so you know, Irvine is famous for homeowners association. So lots of community amenities and all that stuff, and, but you're paying homeowners association dues. Mm -hmm. El Camino Real is kind of like just, no, we're not doing this. And so <laughs> yeah, it's the there, rebel. Yeah. It, there's just no, like there's like a lot of this doesn't have HOA dues. Yeah. I and think so, the city is just like giving up. Yeah. They're like, we don't care about you anymore. <laughs> No, and it's cool because it's, it, at least you're getting some variance because yeah. Irvine is famously known for a different shade of beige, yes. right? Like so, it's like Stepford wise. Yeah. yeah, and so El Camino Real, it's actually you have houses that are smaller, but then you have houses they they took they took a lot and they just built it as far as as big as they could, 
And so you have like this, this variation of homes there. Mm -hmm. And so it's just kind of interesting, but yeah, the, the, you definitely don't have that tight lockdown of you know, aesthetics like that, yeah. that kind of like plague the rest of Irvine basically. And you can have citrus trees there. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yeah, a lot of times we'll rip those things out. So now let's talk about Northwood. Again, um, you know, it's probably a little bit more reasonably priced for Irvine. Um, depending. Depending, yeah. So what, what's Northwood like? Yeah, it's, it's on the eastern side, so like on the eastern side of the five. Yeah, so like Northwood actually, that, that actually we used to live in Northwood. Mm -hmm. like, yeah, I liked Northwood a lot. So, um, so you have a few different areas within Northwood that's like you have some homes that are older, certainly, that are built in the 70s. But then you have some, like Northwood Point, famously, is actually stuff that's built, I would say, in the late 90s or mid to late 90s. And those are actually very nice homes. So it's kind of a little bit of everything. And uh, it's actually, you know, what I like about it, I mean, one, okay, so again, according to niche.com, I think the third or fourth ranked school in Orange County is Northwood High School. So it's like right there with the University High School, like, you know, kind of duking it out for some top of the, honors. some of those homes are also uh, zoned for Beckman, which is also, according to Nix.com, a very highly ranked high school. Yes, like it's still like top 10 for sure. Mm -hmm. So you have a so you have, so according to Nix.com, good schools there. And again, it's actually where it's located. It's actually, again, right off the five freeway. So it's pretty convenient to take a straight shot to south or north basically so now let's talk about west park so explain a little bit about that yeah west park um you know, again what's nice what people like a lot about it is that one it's pretty far north and so you're kind of really close to let's say john wayne airport you're kind of close to all the stuff that's going on there like you know kind of it's a big commercial center yeah and it's close to like south coast plaza so you have a lot of that stuff going yeah, on there south coast plaza has a ton of businesses as well yeah it's a, it's a huge shopping one of the biggest shopping malls in the country with tons of businesses around it yeah and that south coast metro area mm -hmm. tons of like office buildings and everything mm -hmm. and it's just very conveniently located mm -hmm. and again again properties are built i would say like 80s 90s kind of thing in general and people and people love you know West Park because again it's just very convenient so now let's talk about the airport area um, which is around John Wayne Airport which technically is Santa Ana but I mean it kind of shares it with Irvine and Newport Beach and really actually honestly Santa Ana I don't think even it borders to be honest no I think it has some land that's technically <laughs> Santa Ana yeah so I mean somehow it's Santa Ana but like really yeah. it's I would say I think of it more of being bordered with Costa Mesa Newport Beach and Irvine yeah and so uh, so John Wayne Airport's a huge so one obviously it's an airport the largest airport in Orange County and it's, it's a regional. Well, it's no, because there's like I think there's like full, and there might be some like small strips, but oh, really? I've never yeah. even seen them. Okay, <laughs> so okay, so let's go. Ahead. And I've lived here for twenty years. <laughs> But like yeah, so there are so, like so so John Wayne Airport actually is so it's 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 an international airport technically, but it's really like like Mexico and Canada that goes out to and doesn't go out to every city in, in the United States, and we don't get huge jumbo jets in in John Wayne. However, having said all that, it actually gets a lot of traffic flow. I mean, it's actually mm -hmm. a fantastic airport to fly out of because yeah. it's just run really smoothly. It's so nice and clean. And you can contrast that to LAX, which is like the opposite. It's horrible. <laughs> exactly. So it's a little bit tricky. <laughs> So, but having said that, that John Wayne Airport, there's a lot of business, like businesses that are actually based right, you know, right, yeah. that are right there, lots of office buildings and stuff. And what you have in the airport area is not so much single family homes, but what you have are tons of condominiums and whether that's mid rise or high rise. So mm -hmm. four stories and, uh, you know, four story like mid rise town condos, as well as these high rises that are like you know, 20 stories tall, basically. And, and so it's one of the few areas in Orange County where you have actually residential high-rise living. So now let's talk about some of the newer construction in Irvine that's out east, like uh, Orchard Hills, Portola Springs. So what are these neighborhoods? They're just, yeah, what's nice about it is, again, some of the newer construction that's going on in Orange County, because, again, there's not a lot, because Orange County itself is pretty mature at this point. Everything's more or less two stories and just spread out. So yeah. there's not too much going on for brand new construction. And whatever there is tends to be, again, out on the fringes. Now, this, these are on the fringes of Irvine, not necessarily on the fringes, period, but they kind of are along Portola Highway and, mm -hmm. and out there. So it's, it's, and I will say, it's, it is a toll road that goes there. Yeah. So that's. So if you're a native Southern Californian, you probably hate toll roads. So that's a reason that I would never live there. <laughs> <laughs> but like a lot of people, it's like, okay, they take, they take, yeah, you know, that's just, bad. again, it's just one of those, okay, it's a, a cost of living that you just have to have in mind as far as taking that, you know, that toll road. Again, not to say that you have to, because they again they do have some really good arteries that feed mm -hmm. into there. Yeah. So it's not you will absolutely yourself, necessary. You will find yourself taking them. It's it's very sometimes seductive. you just have to. Oh yeah, for sure. I mean, mm -hmm. I'm, not, I'm just saying you don't have to take it necessarily all the time. True. 
And then you should also know that because it is out east, it's bordering like the Cleveland National Forest. So if you are concerned about fire danger, there is potential for fires out in the Cleveland National Forest. And having said that, again, structures lost in Orange County happen very rarely due yeah, to again, fires. Public information, you can look for yourself. Yeah, but again, it's still, some people reach out to us and they really freaked out about fire. So again, if that's something that really freaks you out, you probably don't really want to steer clear of these particular areas. I wouldn't necessarily be concerned I, about I that. I wouldn't but, care. Yeah. But of course, we were grew up, born and raised in Southern California, and for us, fires are just like a part of life. So. <laughs> yeah. And again, that, and that mostly because we, you know, we don't actually rarely ever lose structures. That, yeah. That's the main thing. We really rarely ever ever lose structures. These firefighters are amazing at saving them. So. Again, it's highly unlikely, but at the same time, some people are very sensitive to it, so that's just something to be aware of. And what I will say that, okay, any with any of these new new developments, whether it's out, you know, Orchard Hill, you know, like these areas here, or let's say even the Great Parks, your chances are you're gonna make you may have Melarus. And with Melarus, what that is is basically like an additional tax, uh, like property tax, basically, like it, that's basically funding infrastructure because uh, the stuff's pretty new, and therefore. They need to fund that, and so therefore your property, your, your property tax rate, which in, in Orange County historically, in, in, in generally speaking, is about 1.1 percent, give or take, of the property of the assessed value. In these areas, the the Melarus can tap tack on top of that something, in, you know, a few hundred dollars to several thousand dollars. It just really depends on on the development. So we got most of you know the bigger neighborhoods, right? I mean, not to say there aren't little communities that are just popping up everywhere, but that's the bigger ones. And we did lump in, like, let's say, the ritzy parts of, of Irwin, which, again, they all have their distinguishing factors. Mm -hmm. So, like, that's why you want to reach out to us so we can actually delve into more detail for, with you to kind of let you know, okay, how these communities, dif like, dif like, are differentiated from each other. And then on top of that, we obviously lumped in a bunch of the new construction, which, obviously, those also have differentiating factors, too. So that's it. That's our video. And everything, Sean, I'm ready to go. I want to move out there now. So what do we do next? What you want to do is you want to give us a call, shoot us a text, or send us an email. Or you can reach out to us via WhatsApp. However you want to get a hold of us, we've got your back.